Oh yeah, that that may have alerted them. That that's something that they may notice. Okay, let's just uh, hop hop on in. Get in. There we go. Uh, lights. Do do we have lights? What is this? I don't know how to hotwire a car. What's up guys and welcome back to Thief Simulator. And to start things off today, we have some hacking to do. Because as you guys know, we've been breaking into a lot of homes, rifling through a lot of panty drawers, and honestly, I'm sick of it, okay? It's barbaric, it's a thing of the past. We are a sophisticated thief of the future, where we will be removing security from devices using hacking tools and disabling power switches. I have no idea what any of that means, but it's fine because I'm sure Vinny will tell us. What's going on, Vinny? It's time to check your hacking skills. Make sure you buy the right tools. Right. We, we need to pay for the tools from the internet where I'm already getting robbed 24-7. Let me guess. These hacking tools probably going to be something super simple and it's probably going to cost me $5,500. For a hard drive! We can also spend $700 on a micro camera. And at first I thought, okay, you know, $700 for some sneaky nudes, maybe that's worth it. But I'm pretty sure they go in people's mailboxes. So unless we're getting sneaky nudes of the mailman, I have no idea what these are for. I'm starting to think if I'm going to be a cyber thief, I should just open an online store. Right? This person is clearly making loot and just robbing people blind. Yeah, sure, give me a couple cameras, give me a hacking tool, give me a fist in the ass. All right, Vinny, the daylight robbery is over. What do I do now? Vinny? Oh, hack the tablet at home. How am I supposed to know to do that without Vinny telling me? I think that the dude pretty much holds my bird while I pee. I have electronics level one, I have hacking tools. Right, we have the tablet that we stole last episode. So if I hack into this, uh, Vinny? <laughs> now would be the time for a phone call. I am an idiot. I spent like an hour in game trying to read this tiny little font to figure out what I'm supposed to do. And then I checked the tutorial and it's just a maze mini game. These things are a dime a dozen. They're not even that difficult. Okay, still would appreciate a phone call, Vinny. What do you want me to do now? Hack the tablet at home. Isn't that what I just did? I may have hacked the wrong tablets, okay? When you're a master thief like me, you build up a lot of stolen locked electronics, but I think it's the Leo Von 100 that we need to hack, and uh, security wasn't great on this one. Are you proud of me, Vinny? Good work. At this rate, we'll be done with you in no time. Now, send me the tablet on Black Bay. Oh, I don't even get to pawn it? Damn it, I don't like how he says he'll be done with me. I get the feeling I'm going to be disposed of like a paper towel. Uh, Black Bay and you wanted... Oh, 600 bucks? Okay then, you know what, I just assumed they were going to take it from me. That's not too bad. And then I think we have everything from Rent-A-Thug already accepted. We have those micro cameras that we can set up. Oh, look who's calling all of a sudden just all the time when I don't need his help. You know they buy car parts on Black Bay, right? But you gotta skill up if you want something to sell. Ooh, what? I thought I was going to be doing hacking for the start of this episode, but we've already moved on to car theft? <laughs> That's a pretty big jump. I don't even want to think of how much... Oh, no. $8,000 for a car lockpick gun. I had better get to hold up convenience stores with this thing, or it is not worth eight grand. Well, I've already got $5,500 in cash rolled up in my sock, as well as that tablet that I just unlocked, and these two phones. So maybe we'll unlock these, then head over to Igor and see if he's willing to buy anything. We get a couple hundred bucks each for these. We might be in business. Hmm, sometimes these are a little bit tricky, but <laughs> you get there easy enough. I don't think he buys them locked. Or if he does, he pays very, very little for them. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll bring this with us. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave this one locked. I want to see what the difference is. 
Igor, don't give me that look. I know what you're gonna say. Welcome back. Other than welcome back, you're gonna say that you already have a large assortment of bones that I've given you and that you don't want these ones and that's unacceptable, okay? You're gonna have to take your little flat Russian face and buy all of my stuff. We can get the, no, 900 bucks for that, okay. 600 for you. 1200 for the locked one. Um, oh, I won't buy this, wipe it and then we can talk. Okay, I was gonna say you like them locked. <laughs> so confused. I also have the flash drives, and I thought they would have something to do with hacking, so I held on to them, but there's no option there, so I guess I just stole someone's family vacation photos and I'm gonna sell them for 25 bucks. Okay, yeah, girls gotta eat. I'll be back in a second. I'm gonna go unlock this phone. Have you ever wondered why the guy has so many antique fuel pumps? Like, this four or five out front, and then he's got a couple in the back, and it just welcome doesn't, back. He, yes, welcome back. Nobody could steal these. <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay, here, take this, $1,200. Beautiful. Now I have just enough to get myself a car gun. Do you buy cars? Something tells me you probably don't buy cars. <laughs> I still love the fact that the store evolves over time. Like, every time I steal something, whether it be my first crappy toaster, or, or the TV that I almost got caught stealing, or the vase that I almost got caught stealing, or the guitar that I almost got caught stealing, <laughs> it's all here! It, it's just wonderful, but yeah, I'm thinking there's probably not enough room for a car, so I'm not sure how this is gonna work. Am I gonna be able to upgrade my car? I don't know if I want to upgrade my car, I kind of like my little crappy car. I should probably mention that in between episodes, I took the time to level up our backpack to level three. So now we can actually carry more than a box of matches and a fart. We can actually get a few things, get out, make quite a bit of money. Why that's a skill, like a talent, rather than something you would buy, I have no idea, but I'm happy that it is because it's probably like a $10,000 bag. <laughs> car theft level one, remove car parts and steal cars without alarms. Sounds good to me. And guess who it is? It's best to learn from practice. I know an old car you could bring in. You know, for maintenance. Okay, but should I buy the car tool first? Usually you don't let me go out on a mission without the tool. I'm gonna buy it anyway, because I think Vinny's dropping the ball here. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't want to spend this much money. But at the very least, I am hoping that I can point it at somebody and rob them, right? It's dark out, this kind of looks like a gun. I'm broke. So we're heading to Greenview 104, which is right there, and it just struck me that I know where that is. Okay, you know what? It's fine. We're getting a new car. Don't worry about it. But I am kind of concerned that I've spent enough time in this neighborhood to know where all of the houses are, makes me think that the people might know who I am. <laughs> I've been caught a few times, okay? I would say everybody in this neighborhood has seen me in their house at least once. But we're gonna steal this guy's car. I can't get in through the garage, right? So we need to first find our way over the tiny lip and then climb up the vines. And hopefully he is sound asleep. Engage raptor mode, lockpick mode. <laughs> Getting away with a car cannot be quiet. I'm not sure how this is gonna work, especially if I can't open the garage door. Wait, how is this gonna work? It's steel. Oh crap, I wasn't paying attention. No, I gotta. Uh, uh, come on. There we go. Steal the 86 Classic. Worth $1,000. I'm very confused right now. Oh, there's so many nice things to steal on the way. Just gonna take it anyway, right? Just one for the road. No. Ooh, that's nice. I wonder if I can load up the car before I leave. <laughs> like I could put all of their belongings in their car and then take off. Oh yeah, there's tons of room in the back of this thing, right? This is going really well. Where the hell are they? I'm so confused right now. Like, I should be spending the money to learn their routines or observing the place beforehand. Okay, let's try out this car lockpick gun. That's kind of loud. 
It's just a screwdriver. I spent $8,000 online for a goddamn screwdriver. I legitimately thought it was something that I could use to cut, like, just hold people up, not open the locks. God damn it. Okay. Um, so. Getting in and driving away with this thing doesn't mean anything if I can't open the garage door. Oh yeah, that that may have alerted them. That that's something that they may notice. Okay, let's just uh, hop hop on in, get in. There we go. Uh, lights. Do do we have lights? What is this? I don't know how to hotwire a car. Okay, sparks. Sparks are bad. Wires are good. Wires are good. Wires are good. Okay, come, come on, car. I'll miss you. We did it. We got away with a lovely pickup truck. And they didn't even spot me. Wait, where am I going? That's weird. Usually it would give me the option of going to the pawn shop or going home. This time it just said you're going. What do you mean A? How could have that gone any better? I was flawless. I got in, I got out with the car without being seen. This is bogus. Vinny, what's with the A? Where's my S? Now you're ready for the real deal. You keep this up and you'll be a debt-free man. We left a box by your gate. Pick it up. My gate? I have a gate? Oh! There's the car. It's already up on blocks. Who am I trying to kid? Like, I could fit ten times as much stuff in the back of the crappy little car that I have now. I would probably put a thimble in the back of this and then just drive off. There has to be a reason for this to be here. Car for dismantling. But it's already been dismantled. I clearly drove it here with an engine, didn't I? Oh. That's what the lift is for. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so if I wanted to dismantle a wheel... Huh. How does this work exactly? I want to take the, the wheel off. Wheel, please. Vinny? V Vinny, Vinny, I could use some help here. <laughs> yes, I know what brake calipers are. I get it, I just, I don't know wheel. Oh, I think I got it figured out. We need to hold the mouse button and we'll unscrew it. Okay. There we go. So is this fully detached now? Do we have a tire? We have a tire. Now, what do I do with the tire? Is it in my inventory? Do I sell it? Uh, no, it's not here. Hmm. Take a look around. Maybe I laid it outside. Tire seems to have disappeared. Again, I wish I had a helpful fairy thief mother, but apparently not. Maybe it went in here? Yeah, it did. Okay, and I also have a bracelet and an emerald bracelet hanging out in here. That's just a rainy day fund, you know, if, if the need be. But I, I can take the wheel. Maybe I can sell that online? The Igor wants something like that? Let's see here. Black Bay. We were to sell car parts. Oh, we get 400 bucks for two wheels. That's pretty good. Luckily for me, this thing came with two wheels <laughs> and no engine apparently. <laughs> I'm still really confused what happened to that. Like it, oh, it's back. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna call an exorcist first. Right after I sell these wheels because I need the money, right? I'm poor as crap. So if we go to car parts. Oh, you want four all of a sudden. Did I read that wrong or are you just trying to get a better deal? I thought it was a little strange that somebody would only want two wheels and not four, but I mean, it's a great deal for me. I get two extras that I could sell to some other schmuck, but apparently not. <laughs> so now... That thing is gonna be really hard to get off the lift. Probably shouldn't have sold the wheels first. <laughs> okay, it's my first time running a chop shop, guys. Just cut me some slack here. We're gonna go on the internet. We're gonna sell car parts. 400 bucks. It's just that easy. 
I was about to chop down the rest of this car and bring it over to Igor's, but then I realized that Vinny said that there was a box near my gate. I do have a gate. Oh, he dropped it through the mail hole. <laughs> Very good. Box for Richie R. Who the hell is Richie R? I'm Sneezy Anus. Oh, uh, do you know who Richie R is? Go to Richie R204 and stick it in his bedroom drawer. And don't let him see you. Wait, wait, what? I need to put a box in somebody's bedroom drawer? Usually I take things from people, not give them. Is it reverse thief day? So there is a possibility that this is Richie's Amazon package, which got delivered to Vinny by accident, and he wants it to go to its rightful owner, or it's a bomb. <gasps> I really hope it's not a bomb, okay? <laughs> I'm not in the business of blowing up my neighbors as much as I would love to sometimes. I'm gonna try to use steal your forums, right? We never do this, but it would be so helpful if I dished out $850 to learn their patterns. That's a lot of money. Possible loot location. Hmm. No, you know what? I, I think I'm just going to look around. I kind of figured that I was going to buy their patterns. You know, when they're going to leave the home, that kind of thing. But I suppose I need to do that myself. We do still have the cameras. Why don't we start off by setting up the cameras and then we'll blow people up. Oh shit, Richie R isn't a person, it's a neighborhood. I didn't know there was more than one neighborhood in this game. Please tell me I don't have to blow up a neighborhood. Right, we know it was Richie R204. Okay, we're going to a specific house in the rich end of town. Oh yeah, this is the rich end of town. How the hell am I gonna rob these people? Look at this place, this is a fortress. They even have clean power, those smug assholes. My car has a really hard time with hills. Greenview was good, it was nice and flat. I definitely need to steal a car and keep it at some point, if that's possible. I, I would really love to do that. Holy crap. Like, I, I thought the neighborhood had ended, but it turns out there's just a lot of space between every house. They have a whole lot of property. Where am I going? 204 should be down here somewhere, maybe. Just taking a shortcut. Just taking a short. Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot that you can wrap the hood of your car around a bush. Uh, okay, it, it's fine. Maybe 204 will be like the poorest home here. Nice little small house. Yeah. Small is relative. Well, at least they have an exposed mailbox, so I can put a camera in there and then come back after 24 hours for what a crotch high shot of the mailman I, I i don't get it we are not gonna get nice pictures of mrs patterson's rumpus from here okay i, I gotta take a look around i gotta see if there's a way into this house i get the feeling this is a very gated community and it's gonna be incredibly difficult to get into any of these homes there's no way. I'm gonna have to go through the front gate. I'm gonna have to figure this out. I need to put the box in the bedroom night drawer. I don't really feel comfortable doing that right now. Can I just go rob people? Were there any more cars in the old neighborhood that I can think of? I might go take a look. I don't think I'm ready for this quite yet. Careful. Careful. Perfect. There we go. No one will ever spot this. I gotta leave it here if I'm gonna steal another car. What I'm thinking is, they all have garages, right? And we always stole one car. So maybe there's another one? Maybe we can break into 106 and 105 and see if they have anything to offer. People are definitely home. I think I robbed these places a while ago, but I can never be certain. Oh, uh, I don't know how I feel about this. I I'm too reliant on Vinny telling me what to do. Hey, you know what? I, I need to branch out. I need to steal my own things. Pave my own way. Is there anybody home? I mean, this in broad daylight might be a bad idea. <laughs> I saw somebody walking around. What am I kidding? I know somebody's home. I'm just hoping they're not paying too much attention. I don't care about your stuff. Okay, I don't need your stuff. Go down. 
I'm gonna find your garage. It's gotta be around here somewhere, right? Right? It's a lot of bedrooms. Where the hell's the garage? I was really hoping there would be more uses for the car lock pick gun. Like, even if I can't hold somebody up with it, maybe I can just jam it in someone's ear while they sleep. But apparently, I can't equip it like my crowbar. So, this is not where I want to be, especially since there are two tenants. <laughs> Again, a lot of bedrooms. Whole lot of bedrooms for two people. But no garage. They clearly have a garage. I saw it. Maybe. Oh, it's on the main floor. And it's empty. Crap. Um. Okay, that that's strike one. That's strike one. Okay, you know what? You're, you're gonna get it in the ear. You're gonna get it in the ear. <laughs> I was really hoping to just get in and get out quietly with a car. Not bludgeoning anybody to death, okay? Not sticking anything in anybody's ears while they sleep. Really gonna hurt the old S rank, but we're moving on to the neighbors. Who I'm hoping didn't hear the sirens, maybe? Which floor is your garage on? It should be right here, right? Yeah, oh great, and it's empty. Well then, I'm here, I might as well steal something. A locked door inside, you say? That's usually a good sign, right? A lot of people in this neighborhood don't even bother locking their front door. Having something valuable. Oh, crap. Um. Why would you lock yourself in a room? She was suspicious. She's gonna stare at that door to see if it was making noises or not. <laughs> well, then. Maybe I don't want to go in there. I, I kind of did. I, I'm a little disappointed. Can I see you through this wall if I come over here? What do you suppose that guy's doing right now? Because I, I can't tell if he was restlessly sleeping or broke his hip, but he's up and at him now. <gasps> Hopefully that means he's leaving either to go for a walk, get some fresh air and wake up, or the hospital. I don't know. I, I don't really care to be completely honest. I just want to get in that room. Should I steal that? No, nobody would ever want that. Again, x-ray vision really just puts you off. Is that guy sitting down watching TV or is he taking a shit? I have no idea. <laughs> but I want to get in there. Maybe I can... Uh, I, I don't want to open these loudly, but I kind of do. I was thinking maybe I can just get him out here with a bit of a distraction. And I also wouldn't mind stealing some stuff quietly. Uh, camera, sure, why not? Oh, he's up. He's not wiping, so I'm gonna assume that means it wasn't taking the dump, but let's just see if I can pick this really quickly. It's super quiet. Who would ever hear this in a million years? Just tumblers falling in a lock. Here we go. Nailed it. Good, good, good. Oh. Don't, 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 don't. Come on, dude. Just, just go back to sleep or taking your dump or something. Mm, he's sitting right there. <gasps> I want to get to the safe, but he's sitting right there. What if I run around a little bit? Maybe I'll just make a lot of noise. What do, you, what do you mean he called the police? Why would he call the police for footstep noises? That could have been your wife. I figured maybe I could persuade him to come investigate. He would look around a little bit, not find anything, and then realize that he wanted lunch, or go out for a walk, or just change his pattern of activity. But no! Footsteps in the other room, it could be the wife, it could be somebody here to murder me, call the police to find out! Krabs, can I please just wait this out in quiet? Look, I, I don't need to hear your little pinching and your clicking and your drum rolls, okay, just shut the hell up! Thank you. They're both upstairs now. I would assume watching TV and not taking a couple's dump. But the point is, I can now break into the safe. I think I've gotten pretty good at this too. It's a little bit more difficult when you're talking and not paying perfect attention. There's no way he hears this, right? How on earth could- Ah, oh, crap. How on earth could he possibly hear this? I had to stop to take a look. I'm just way too paranoid. I'm hearing footsteps. I'm gonna close this door. Just in case, and now I think I've somehow forgotten the safe code that I already uncovered. Does it change? It changes. Really? I don't think that's how safes work, but sure, what do I know? I'm just a thief. Okay, fine. You know what? First number, 46. Next number, 27. 
final number. 44. We good? Ooh. Yes, please. 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350. 400 bucks. And you know what? I got to cut out the middleman. No Igor. So that's pretty good. Headset. I thought that was a pistol for a second. <laughs> sure, I'll take that. Maybe there's something of interest in here. You think they would keep something valuable in a drawer right next to the safe? People have done stupider things in this game, okay? Don't take any steps standing up. Oh, that's a loud drawer. You did a loud drawer. Okay, I think we're good. The odds I can get away with a random piece of art. Why is this window open? Wait, what? Hold on, just, uh, just, just, just drop it. Just, just let it go. It's outside. Oh, I hate you so much. You know what? Screw it. I don't care. Let it, let it go out here. Let, let it go. Drop, drop, let it go. Let it go, thiefy. Come on. Sneezy. Sneezy, let, let it go. I can't. Something, something is wrong. There we go. I finally got rid of it. <laughs> he really, really didn't want to let go of that painting. Oh my God. I could have just snuck in here through the back. They don't close their windows at night, but they lock the door from the inside? Why? Oh, shit. Well, where did you all oh, come on? I'm just in your backyard having a... I'm done. There, there's no way I'm gonna be able to pick through this. I might as well just break back into their home. <laughs> this is the only way I can survive. Get out of the way, painting. I gotta hide in here. I just can't put my finger on the AI in this game. Some of them will leave their back window open, and then others will guard it like a Rottweiler at night. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I kind of want to get some quick... Oh, sh oh come screw you! You know what? Screw, screw all these people! Screw you! Screw you all! I'm going back to my closet. You can all suck a lemon. Don't worry about it, guys. It was probably the wind that broke all of your back windows with a crowbar. <laughs> I can't believe they all have garages and nobody owns a car. Does that guy own a car? I don't think so. We've seen him working in his garage. Who else owns a car in this neighborhood? Right. This doofus has an expensive car in his garage. Right, We saw that before we could actually steal anything. We just need to cut off the power and get past the security system and figure out how to open the gate and turn off the camera and wait for them to leave. <laughs> Way too much for me to tackle right now. So you know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Thief Simulator, guys. And we still managed to do quite a lot, right? We made a lot of money. We did some hacking. We stole a car. I think in the next episode, we might try this or we might move on to the rich neighborhood and bomb someone, maybe. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. GG!